Hi guys, so since Procreate 5.2 came out, we can now import 3D models and paint on them. So there's the default 3D models that come with the Procreate update, but um, people are gonna want to start importing their own models, obviously. And there has been a little bit of uh, friction there, so it's not exactly straightforward. One app that's really popular to use is Nomad for sculpting. So, um, but exporting from Nomad into Procreate isn't possible because of some UV mapping problems. It's all sounding very confusing. I know I've played around with 3D like years ago, but it's it's been a long time and um, you know, this is confusing for me as well. But I just wanted to make this video because I've sort of muddled my way through it using, um, you know, a couple of videos from other people. So a big shout out to Dave Reed, who solved a big part of this problem for me. So in order to get one of your 3D models into Procreate, if you're sculpting in Nomad, you need to go through Forger Classic in order to fix the UV mapping problem. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So I'll show you the process of how I'm going to create this letter uh, by creating the initial letter as a black and white in Procreate. So I'm going to just start in Procreate with a black letter on a white background. I've just got a square canvas. I'm going to add text. I'm going to type the letter A and then I'm going to scale it up and just put it fairly centered. No big deal though. We're just gonna be using the actual, um, you know, shape of the A and I'm gonna rasterize it. And now I'm going to export it. So go to your share icon and save it as a PNG. Okay, so save image. So the next step, so forgive me if this is a little convoluted, but I found I tried both ways. I tried going straight into Nomad with that map and extruding it from a plane, and I'm just not familiar with the interface enough to get that to work. So there might be a quicker part to this, but this was the most, um, this was the easiest kind of way that I found, okay? So is to use Adobe Capture and create an SVG, which is what we're gonna do here. So you press the little plus down the bottom and import image camera roll and there's the A. So I'm going to bring that into Adobe Capture. You want to be on the Shapes tab here and now we've got the A. So that's all good. Tick, um, tap the tick and we want to save the project. So I'm going to choose Save. It'll ask me what to call it. So I'm going to say A, C, so for Adobe Capture, letter A. Okay, so Save Project. So I've already done this, obviously. Um, now there's three little ticks next to the project. Tap on that and you want to export as and choose SVG and then choose a folder. So I'm going to put this in a folder that I've created on Files app. So 3D test and then choose save. So the next bit from here is to go online to a website called AnyConv. So it's A-N-Y-C-O-N-V dot com. And we're going to open that SVG. So that was browse, that was in iCloud. Um, so, oh, uh, for Procreate. 3D and then test and then AC letter A. You'll see you get this little drop down here. So we want to choose the STL file format and then choose convert. So it'll take a second to convert. And now we want to download that STL. Uh, so once you download in Safari, you can see that that little icon with the arrow will take you into the file you just created in your downloads folder. So now I'm going to move this because I just like things tidy. So if you go to select and select the file, you get the option to move. So I'm just going to put that in the folder that we created for this purpose. So move. Now I'm going to go back into Nomad. And when you get a new scene in Nomad, it'll give you this sphere. If you don't want that, just tap on the second icon from the left and you'll see you get sphere. That's kind of the layer uh, panel. So I deleted that object. And now I wanna go back and import and you choose add to scene. So this first icon with the folder and the import area, add to scene, import new file, say yes. Then navigate to iCloud and the folder that we created so the AnyConv 
letter A. So there you go. So by creating that uh, STL file that makes uh, this A now a 3D object when we open it in Nomad. So I've found that to be the easiest way. As I said, you might um, be really good at 3D modeling and um, think that there's a, a quicker, easier way. Please leave a, a comment below to help people if you've got a suggestion. But um, yeah, I find that to be just fine. Okay, so I'll show you why we can't go straight to Procreate. If we go into Export and we choose OBG, which is the file format compatible with Procreate, go into Export and then to Procreate, you'll see we get this error. It says this model has missing UVs and currently not supported. So that's the error we're trying to get around. So in order to do that, I'm going to take it through Forger. So both Forger and Nomad are paid apps. So it's about 30 US dollars for both of them. I think they're about 15 um, each. And, um, you know, they're not a subscription. Forger, normal Forger is, I think you pay a subscription, but this classic version, you don't. So we're going to export the OBG into Forger Classic and just choose Sculpting. And so now it's brought in our A and it's sort of a little bit of a strange look on there. Like I think this is to do with the mapping. So um, I'm just going to go in and I think subdivide. This is where, don't take my word for it sort of thing. Um, so resolution and remesh, I'll try that. Don't take my word for this bit, okay? Because I'm new to this, but I'm just experimenting. So I think this this sort of texture on it is um, really strange. It didn't do that the first time, to be honest. So what I've just done now is to increase this resolution and choose remesh. And this is all under this kind of square folder here, this little um, cube. Uh, resolution remesh and that sorted it out thank goodness so um, that's what you can do so the thing the the actual thing that we're here to do is in the cube again and these bottom blue icons you'll see the three dots choose that and then choose generate automatic UVs so that is the bit that we want to do for procreate successful great press OK. So now we're going to export this into Procreate. So choose the share icon, export 3D model. Make sure you choose OBG. I'm going to call it just letter A model. And then I'm going to choose export and then flick through here until you come to Procreate. Importing and there you have it, there is your letter A. So now you can come into Procreate, choose on, go onto your base layer, grab a, a, pen, um, a brush and, you know, paint directly onto your 3D letter. So that's um, really cool. It's so exciting. There's so much creativity that it's gonna happen from this. I just, uh, I, you know, I got to a stumbling block because I wanted to create my own 3D model, especially of lettering. I do a lot of lettering. So this is really interesting to me to create 3D lettering. Um, so you could even do that uh, initial step instead of having, you know, the A um, with text, you could bring in your own lettering. I'm sure there's gonna be some things to learn about, um, you know, mesh and creating smooth shapes, but but, um, you know, that's what we're all here for. We love learning. So it's really uh, exciting. And then you can play around with all sorts of things. I'm not going to go into how to paint on the 3D letter at the moment. I just wanted to show that workflow and... Um, Again, I didn't, I didn't come up with this. I've troubleshooted it through various YouTube videos. So, you know, people putting out content, this is, this is why we do it and it helps people. So um, put a comment below if you enjoyed this video, share it with anyone you think would find it useful. And I'm uh, so glad you joined me. Thanks again. See you next time. Bye.